the U.S. and U.K. are taking action after accusing Beijing of malicious cyber activity against millions of targets from Washington to Westminster. You know, on Monday, both U.S. and British officials, they filed charges. They imposed sanctions against Chinese state-linked hacking groups. And China has dismissed the allegations. Now, officials in both countries, they called out the hacking group. It's called Advanced Persistence Threats. 31, or APT 31, saying that it's an arm of China's Ministry of State Security. And targets include White House staff, U.S. senators, uh, British MPs, and officials around the world who are critical of China. And in an indictment that was unsealed on Monday against seven of the alleged Chinese hackers, um, U.S. prosecutors said that they targeted emails, they targeted online storage, and the phone call records of millions of Americans. Uh, we have a statement for you. Let's bring it up. This is from the FBI director, Christopher Wray, who said this, quote, today's announcement exposes China's continuous and brash efforts to undermine our nation's cybersecurity and to target Americans and our innovation. Now, officials in the U.K., Call this group, APT31, accused them of, of hacking British lawmakers who are critical of China. And the U.K. also said a second group of Chinese spies targeted the U.K.'s electoral watchdog that separately compromised the data of millions more people across the U.K. This is what we heard from the British Home Secretary, James Cleverly. He said this, quote, it is reprehensible that China sought to target our democratic institutions. China's attempts at espionage did not give them the results they wanted, unquote. Uh, the U.S. identified the hackers with the help of the Five Eyes. This is the Intelligence Sharing Alliance between the U.S., U.K., Canada, Australia, and New Zealand. And we did hear China's response. We heard from the embassy in London, China's embassy, saying it strongly opposes these accusations. And then the question was raised on Monday at the uh, Ministry of Foreign Affairs briefing. We heard from Lin Jian, the spokesperson, saying sufficient and objective evidence are required when investigating a cyber incident and coming to a conclusion as opposed to smearing other countries without facts or politicizing cybersecurity. But we do want to point out that China has also accused the West of hacking campaigns. Back to you.